Steve in Streatham. Hello, Steve. Oh, good, good evening. Good evening. Um, I own a second property in, um, in Streatham, which I let out. I had to pay the ground rent in March. Um, I was out of the country. I had three um, cancellations on the airlines. I wasn't able to get back till late July. I found four letters from the company requesting the £105 ground rent, but they're also trying to charge me £132 in collection costs, making it 237 I wrote to them explaining the situation, and today I received the cheque back saying that this is not acceptable and our client wants the £238 owing instead of the £105 which I was willing to pay them. Well, I stand Steve, legally? You're, 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 you're putting into words exactly what I said at the beginning of this programme because as a leaseholder you really shouldn't be having to pay nearly £250 for being a few weeks slow in paying your ground rent and it's a disgrace and it's shocking. And you're by no means the first person who's told me about this. And yes, there is a remedy. You could challenge the cost of collection in the first tier tribunal. But you would have to pay a fee to the tribunal, which you're quite likely not going to recover. Um, I, I mean, I think it's just astonishing that we can have a system which allows the freeholder to charge you £250 because you were a very short while late in paying that ground rent and we really must have a system which is fit for purpose and currently it's not fit for purpose what you're telling us is just a nonsense and anyone listening to this program will understand how upset you must be all you can do is make an application to the first tier tribunal and say this solicitor's fee is ridiculous on the other hand and you know i'm in the business um solicitors are expensive um and some people might argue, and I'm just putting my devil's advocate hat on, when you went away, perhaps you should have made arrangements by a standing order or a direct debit to pay your ground rent because you would have known in advance when it was due, you would have known in advance how much it was. But it's still a complete nonsense that you should be having to pay this penalty, and I think it is almost a penalty for being a few weeks late. But the only course of action would be to go to the tribunal and that, prob yes. from what you're saying, that wouldn't be worth it really financially. Well, I don't know. It, it, it's a matter of principle. It's not a matter of, of money. Um, obviously, you could pay the 240 quid, but you think you're being ripped off. And yes, you are. Well, good luck, Steve.